Braves and the Mets. Braves with a fat lead in the National League East. Jay Young So has been a bright spot at times for the Mets. So good in his first 13 starts. Well, so bad over the last couple. The ERA up over 10 and 0 and 2. Top of the first, two on. Larry Wayne Jones. They call him Chipper. Chipper. 353 career hitter against the Mets. 16th home run of the season. Braves up 3 0. Top four, you saw so bad, now so good. So gets Robert Fick and Javi Lopez and Vinny Castilla. So strikes out the side, went eight, six Ks. Bottom of the fifth, Bill Murray joins the broadcast booth. The pitcher's name is Seo. He's from Korea. And for those of you who don't know, no, I can teach you how to say, I love you. Can I borrow some money in Korean? Uh, you know, the Braves needed to borrow some gloves. They didn't need anything. Things got weird at the bottom of the sixth. Ty White, Wigginton right up the chute. Robert Fink, oh, a little help. Marcus Giles, oh, a little more help. Threw it into left field. The ball's going all over the place. Bill Murray, some instant analysis. When this ball goes this way, in a T-ball game, when that ball goes to left field that way, yeah. all these players would go that way, searching for the ball, including the pitcher. All the players would converge on the ball over here somewhere. You know what? You really shouldn't rattle Chipper's cage. He doesn't like to be called that name that was on that sign. He loves Shea Stadium. He liked that pitch. Chipper's fourth home run in the last two days. The kid, I just wad that thing up and throw it away, son. It's not working. Chipper putting the Braves up 7-3. to three. Horacio Ramirez with the Braves' first complete game of the season. They beat the Mets 7-3. to three. Phillies have lost three straight after winning 13-16. Brandon Duckworth coming off a strong start. Strong again, no hit through three innings, but then two men on over the out. Brad Wilkerson opposite way. That's going to drop for a double. Orlando Cabrera would score to tie up this game at one. Next batter, Duckworth walks. Will Cadera bags fold nobody out. Next batter, Ron Calloway takes his driver out, finds some space. Jose Vidra would score. Calloway won for 47, 253. It's 2 1 now. Next batter, back full, still nobody out. Brian Schneider, Schneids, bloops it. Wilkerson and Codera would score. 4 1 Montreal. Schneider won for four, those two RBI. Next batter, Duckworth. Oh, look who's up, Levon Hernandez. And Duckworth hits him in the shoulder. Hernandez and Duckworth exchanging words, glances, love. Well, maybe not the last part. Hernandez goes to first. Oops, oops. I told you. Oh, things, nice. things exchange. Bench is clear. No contact made, said Hernandez. I was mad because I didn't want to get hit on the elbow or in the face. Who would? Joe Kerrigan holds Duckworth back. Hernandez okay. Larry Boa out for the fifth time this season. Hernandez kept his focus, striking out Mike Lieberthal. Hernandez says, you know, you have to remain a pro. Keep your concentration. As Jim Tomey, one for four, and then Hernandez gets David Bell on the ground. Game over. Levon. 25th complete game. He scattered seven hits with a season-high 10 Ks. Marlins and the Cubs. Top one. Pudge Rodriguez, not on the National League All-Star team. He logs on against Matt Clement. Pudge's 12th of the year, starting to get the hang of this National League stuff. Marlins up 1-0. Now let's compare the two Alex Gonzalez's. Would it be Alex Gonzalez I? You see, one's hitting 291 for the Marlins, having a great season. Alex S. Gonzalez from the Cubs, a specialist at the walk-off shot. Here we go now with Alex the Marlin doubling down the left field line. He later scored an RBI single and made it 3-1. This is Alex S. And the S stands for SWAT. His 11th of the year, the Cub ties the game at three. Top four, Alex the Cub, the S stands for snag. Taking one away from Derek Lee and making a top 10 play nominee. Gonzalez flashing the glove. Still tied at three, bottom four, two outs, two on for Clement the pitcher. Doubles down the right field line. He's top choice scores. Paul Bacco likewise, I'm sure. Clement, as they often say in the trade, helping his own cause. A couple of RBIs, 5-3. Kyle Farnsworth facing Pudge Rodriguez, and Sammy comes in and makes a forum tackle. The Cubs go on to win it by a count of 6-3. to three. But all not good news for the Cubs. Center fielder Corey Patterson done for the year. He was placed on the DL after tearing a ligament in his knee Sunday. 298, 13 homers, 55 RBI, 16 stolen bases this season. Patterson was listed among those 
and vote for the final All-Star. Kenny Lofton will now take his place on that ballot. Reds Astros, Roy Oswald, 6-0 lifetime against the Reds, making his first start since June 11th. Let's flash back to June 11th. Who could forget that start against the Yankees? It didn't last long. It lasted an inning. Groin issues. Five Astro pitchers later, Billy Wagner gets Hideki Matsui to finish off the no-hitter. Yankees were no-hit by six Astros pitchers. Back to Monday, Oswald sharp, top of the fourth we go. He's well rested. Oswald striking out Sean Casey. The Reds just had four hits in this game. Oswald striking out Reggie Taylor. Oswald striking out Jose Guillen. Six innings, three hits allowed by Oswald, one earned run, three Ks. And then Richard Hidalgo, that is deep, and Ken Griffey Jr. couldn't care less. What a catch. Hidalgo not thrilled. Griffey Jr. making up for his 0 for 4 night, looking like Willie Mays. He's done that so many times, and Morgan Ensberg has done that 16 times this year. Part of an 11-hit attack for the Astros, three of them by Jeff Blum. Red Sox and the Yankees. New York trying to get a split in the four-game series behind Mike Mussina. Top one, no score. Manny Ramirez, oh, the pride of the Yankees. Misjudges that. Curtis Pride. Todd Walker would come around to score, and Boston takes a quick 1-0 lead. Bottom one, Pedro. Coming up and in on the Fonz. A little defensive swing. He gets hit in the hand. Ed Montague rules that he swung, and he did. Pedro ended up striking out Soriano. You see he's checking out that hand. The next man is Jeter, and Pedro gets him on the hand, too. Now, both left the game. They received x-rays. They were negative. Both are listed as day-to-day, -day, but the boss was a little miffed. I don't like it. Unfortunately, they're both okay, but you can't like that. I'm not going to say anything about it because I don't know what was going through the man's mind, but he seems to be doing that a lot. I don't know. Baseball will have to take a look at that. In the meantime, we'll take a look at a flashback. June 1993, Mike Mussina, then with the O's, instigated a bit of a brawl when he hit a batter, and then Mussina wound up on the DL due to injuries sustained in the fight. So, who knows, perhaps that ancient history was somewhere in his mind. He thinks perhaps the best way to get back at the first battery face is Kevin Millar, who, by the way, was hit by Clemens over the weekend, to get him out. Mussina would retaliate with near-perfect pitching. Bottom second, the duel begins. Pedro gets Ventura, Mussina gets Baratek. Pedro gets Giambi. Mussina gets Trot. Pedro to Ventura, sit on it, Patsy. 11 Ks over seven for Martinez. In the sixth inning, bottom six, Enrique Wilson, who replaced Soriano. Giambi, the knock into right. Wilson will motor around to score, and the Yankees are on the board against Pedro Martinez. Top seven, score still tied, and Mussina is energized after they put a run on the board for him. David Ortiz, now nothing for 20 against the Moose in his career. Still tied in the eighth. Bill Miller gets a walk. Mussina had retired 21 straight before giving up that walk to Miller. And then Baratek brings the big wood, but it goes just foul. Baratek, sort of a mini Carlton Fisk moment. Mussina was an interested observer as well. See how close that fan got the ball. Look how close he Very was to close. the pole. Mussina got Baratek. Struck out nine over eight. No hits over his last seven. Bottom nine, Byung Young Kim gets Jorge Posada in the leg. Now the bases are loaded. Couple of batters later, Curtis Pride. Oh, Todd Walker, little hip. Way too late. And the Yankees get the split of the series 2-1. Peter Gammons with inside on the inside pitching. La Russa and Pujols are married. Nothing wrong with that either. Pujols at bat against the Giants, facing a 1-2 count against Jerome Williams. What your thoughts on that, Linda? Uh, you know, you heard my thoughts. <laughs> Albert Pujols <laughs> continuing to foul away the pitches from Jerome Williams. Finally, Williams gets him to pop up in foul territory to third. Bottom one. You know, I got to think that Philippe Pujols got a bit of a crush on Barry, too. Number 26 for Bond, 639 his career. The Giants with a 3-0 lead is 3-1 in Jerome Williams pitching to Jim Evans, who's putting together an MVP caliber season. Rich Aurelia making the play there for the double play, inning over for Evans and the Cards. Bottom seven, Williams now doubling down the left field line for his first career hit. It was quite a night for the young pitcher later in the inning. Bases are now all loaded up for Barry. That's not quite going to be deep enough, but it is deep enough to drive home Ray Durham. Bonds two for three, drove in a couple. 5-1 Giants. 
Here's Pujols seeking a little redemption, but Albert's 0 for 4 on the night. Giants win 5-1. Williams goes the distance. Harold Reynolds now to compare Pujols and Bonds. I don't know, buddy. Yeah, that's Shea Hillenbrand. Get a good look. You're going to see a lot of them in this highlight. Ask Jason Jennings about that. Now, Jay Payton will go back and try to make a play. A little controversy. What is the ruling? Payton pointing at a fan who may have interfered. And uh, Shea Hillenbrand is going to end up pointing to a, a signal a home run. See? Nice try, Jay. Take another look. The ball appears to be going out and out of Payton's reach anyway. Hillenbrand's third homer as a D-back. Bottom five, the very next inning for Shea Hillenbrand. Nobody out. That is gone. That also off of Jennings. Here with that. No controversy. Exactly, Reese. Hillenbrand's second of the game. Bottom six. So he's homered in the fourth, fifth. Are you kidding me? No. Now six. Inning. The sixth player in Major League history did a homer in three straight innings. Shea Hillenbrand. Now a chance for four in the seventh. Oh, no, Joe Rowe has pitched the 0-2 pitch. He'll take the double. It's a career-high five-hit night, a career-high seven RBI night for Shea Hillenbrand. Oh, yeah, those three home runs in a D-backs victory. Arizona has won 16 of its last 19 games. 29th in the bigs, 241 batting average. Top first, Sean Green strikes out against the Oliver Perez fastball. One, two, three inning. Dodgers staff, the lowest DRA in baseball. They're under three. Ryan Klesko caught in the observatory against Andy Ashby. One, two, three. Dodgers, 29th in the bigs, only 289 runs scored. Paul LaDuca on first. Mike Kincaid flies out. LaDuca. Oh. Caught off base. Next batter, Adrian Beltre, double. Baduca would have scored in that situation. The Dodger pitching to allow the fewest runs in the major league. Bottom three, Ashby gets Mark Loretta. Get back, Loretta. Fly out to end the inning. Something has got to give. It's that pitch. Flying Fesco, he's bona fide. Number 19, Padres up 1 0. Later on in the inning, one on for Rondell White. Excuse me? Thank you very much. It's going to rattle around for a while. Sean Burroughs comes around to score. 2 0 Padres. That's one of six straight hits against Ashby. Padres went up 5 0. That's virtually insurmountable for the Dodgers these days. Perez freezes green. He went eight, struck out eight. Padres win 7 1. Pirates Brewers, let's have some fun. Lloyd McClendon and the Pirates have won four straight. What should McClendon do if the Pirates win five straight games? We bring this up because, you know, whatever Luke can do, Lloyd can do better. A, dye his hair blonde. Oh, no, no. How about B, grow a fro. It's all right. And C, become a pirate. But, you know, he's no Johnny Depp. Oh. Bottom one, one out, no score. But then again, who then is? Then again, who is? I Jeff Jenkins. In the gap, it's going to be a double off the wall. Scott Podsednik. There's going to be a play at the plate. Podsednik, safe at home, but look out. Podsednik smacked in the face. A hard tag by Jason Kendall. Podsednik mm. would leave the game, receive six stitches under his right eye. Brewers up 1-0. They're up 2-0 when this happens. Jack Wilson gets under it. Brady Clark. Throws it to Richie Sexton, and you're looking at a simple 8-3 double play. What happened here? We got the arrows going. Check out Eric Young and Royce Clayton. They try to fake out Craig Wilson, and it works. Simple as that. Pirates are shut down. Bottom six, two out. Bags full, Eric Young. Good hustle. He's going to beat that thing out. Two runs and score. Brewers will win. And here's Lloyd McClendon's look after a loss. Forget a bad hair day. That's just a bad day.